Well, if you look at, at what's happening around the world over the last couple of hundred years, humans' relationship with nature is changing drastically. Increase in population, globalisation, climate change, the list goes on. And with the changing relationship with nature, we're seeing an increased contact between humans and wildlife and an increased chance of transmission of diseases, so-called emerging infectious diseases. And these are important. I mean, look at Ebola, HIV, West Nile virus. A lot of these really impact humans and how the world functions. And some emerging infectious diseases are really important for wildlife. Look at Tasmanian devil facial disease. Look at the white nose syndrome in bats. And so this, this area of focus, this interface of humans and wildlife and domestic animals is critical both for us and for the wildlife. Um, working together with a couple of veterinary final year students studying infectious zoonotic diseases, so diseases that spread between humans and animals in Norwegian reptiles, specifically looking at Salmonella, a bacteria, and Cryptosporidium, a parasite from our intestines. So here we have a, a South American New World camelids, the, the llama. And it's interesting, what we've been looking at is in one of the llamas, a cancer of the stomach that it's the first time it had been described from llamas and it's the same sort of cancer that we get in humans. So it's not just infectious diseases that's interesting looking at wildlife and animal diseases. Comparative medicine, studying, uh, studying what we see in animals, comparing it to humans and vice versa is, is a really interesting area of uh, veterinary medicine.